Hi, all Jeanette here, and what I'm going to show you in just half a second is our dwindling wood pile. This might actually look like a lot, but there's just this little pile right here with some drier stuff up there against the window. We've had an especially long, cold, uh, for long periods of time winter this year and we thought we were pretty good on our wood supply but uh, it's not going to work. We're going to have to do something else and we have a couple of uh, little supply areas that we can go harvest from and that's what we're going to do today. Well, we have some piles of wood inside our greenhouses that we had anticipating we were going to use this year but since we are not going back to the Kansas City markets, we won't be heating our greenhouses for the early market. So we're going to go cut this wood up. But we will have to cut it in half in order to use it in our house stove because we like the short ones in our house stove. And so we got to go cut this in half and bring it down and use it and we think we'll probably have enough of it to get us through the winter. We've actually been kind of spoiled over the past few years uh, around here because we haven't really had bad weather very much for several years. You know, it seems to me like I've, over my lifetime, I've noticed that about every eight to 10 years, the winter is bad, where we would have a lot of snow or we'd have a lot of ice. And most of the other time we have pretty, we have periods of cold, but then we'll have pretty good periods of not so cold, where we don't feel quite so crowded by uh, keeping everything warm and dealing with hardships that the snow and the cold brings us. See if I can stay on my feet here. <laughs> Right corner where he's he's aiming. A little stack of wood. We have this little pile of wood that we had here to warm the greenhouse if we planted crops early in here. But since we aren't going to plant the crops that needs to be heated, why well, we're gonna cut this wood in half so it'll fit our stove better. And then in here, we're going to plant onions, and they don't need to be heated. We will have a lot of, I think we will have 29 rows of onions in here. We had this wood in here. It's a little larger cut wood, especially for this sizable furnace that we were going to use it in. It could use large, large logs. I laid these out where I got one row lengthwise and then I put the others crosswise where I'm going to cut because I don't want to get my chain into dirt because that instantly ruins the chain. Afraid of that chainsaw? Wood that we just cut is good and dry. 
And so we'll put it at kind of out front so we can get to it quicker. I think a lot of this wood that we're bringing in here now is elm, which is not our favorite to burn. But we had some old dead elm trees uh, last year that we cut down and I think that's what we're going to burn here. We'll probably make a hot, fairly fast fire. And I think it also leaves a lot of ashes behind, but we'll deal with it. The old guy is going to take a short break, give his back a rest, and then start over again. This winter seems to be pretty cold and snowy and stuff. But as I remember winters when I was young, this is a very mild winter with a very small amount of snow comparatively. And so I don't know whether I just remember things differently or whether this is really a bad winter or not. But whatever it is, we're equipped to be comfortable and so doesn't really matter too much. Just so we get to spring is what counts. Well, I've taken my short nap and so we're ready to go back and saw up another wagon load of wood and bring it down. the wagon bowl pulled or cut <laughs> so I'm gonna pull it to the house and we're gonna call it a day till another day I think we probably have two or maybe three wagon loads more left and then we have some more in some other buildings that we need to cut up and get down to our house what we have left is all inside the greenhouses in the dry so we're not crowded to do it just to get it in the dry, but we still have to get it done because we're going to need it to keep warm with for the winter to work. Normally in previous years I would have already been out here working in this greenhouse for at least a week because we start the plants usually, start seedlings in our warming table on February the 15th. Well this year since we've retired I'm not doing it and I have to admit to you that I'm really missing it. Um, I would have been out here a couple of weeks before that trying to get things cleaned up in here because when I walked in just now I was kind of surprised at what kind of mess it's all in. Old weeds that grew last uh, summer and never got pulled up or pots sitting around, some with dirt, some with long dead plants in them, stuff like that. And I will come out here and get it cleaned up and I will grow some things in here this year. But just not the early stuff. Uh, normally I would have started the brassicas, which would be broccoli, cauliflower, and cabbage for us. And then I would also start peppers, maybe some tomato plants if I'm going to put them in the high tunnel, which we do want to do this year. And I might still start some on my own, but I also might buy some from a local uh, greenhouse. I'll, I haven't totally decided yet, but anyway, this is what the greenhouse out here looks like. It's kind of a pathetic situation, but that's my life. <laughs> no, that doesn't look sound good. I probably better not put that in there. Um, this is our germination table. Uh, inside this box, I think it's like 4 by 12. There are warming cables, electric cables in there, heating cables with sand over them with this lid on it and we put our seeds in there to uh, germinate. We can set the temperature so that it runs, keeps it warm all the time and it's been a great thing over the years to have so that we could get our seeds started early. I even still have some my loofah gourds in here that I grew last year. I can hear, you hear the seeds rattle in there. I need to get those opened up and do something with them. Get the skin peeled off and do something with the loofahs inside. I want to grow some more this year out there in that same spot. Well, thanks for coming along with us while we get a little wood caught up with and 
and try to keep ourselves warm. I hope everybody out there who, are, who is watching this is staying warm and safe. It's really been a hard winter. I know that our winter isn't as hard as it is for a lot of people, but this has been a long, hard, boring winter for us around here. So thanks for coming around and we'll see you next time.